All right, YouTube, we're just going to jump right into our good news. I'll leave the U.S. flag up there. But we got some good news, folks. Fucking finally, huh? Boy, we need some. Boy, we need some, huh? Good news over here. World's oldest dog is celebrating its birthday with a very traditional Portuguese party. That is, that is not great. Look at that old pupper. Guinness World Record holder right there. Well, I hope that pup has another 50 years in him. Bobby's health was a little damaged after all the media attention he received, but he's now feeling better. Oh, you know, hey, you, you know, old people, you know, you get a couple hours with them and then they got to go back to bed. I know that's what that's what's gonna, that's what's going to be me. Thank you, the Ryan. Well, we'll see if Jeff Bezos will keep me on. He's already banned me twice. So we'll see. Uh, over here, uh, Amazon deforestation down 40 percent so far this year. Love to hear it. A little bit of good news, huh? Always hearing about, you know, is this is this Bolsonaro? Is this Bols Is this uh, or what's his name? The guy who took over, right? Who's the guy that took over for Bolsonaro in Brazil? Nice, not not the Lula. Lula. Is this Lula's doing? Have a good one. Oh three. Thank you for being an honest actor. Good luck with your conservative, independent leanings. Maybe one day we can turn you into a progressive once you see that progressivism is the way to change the world for the better. Good luck with you. Uh, yeah, Amazon de deforestation down 40% so far this year. You'd love to see it. Hopefully, this um, is this Lula. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not going to read it. But it has some, yeah, it mentions Lula da Silva. The drop comes as a win for President Lu uh, Luis Inacio Lula de, de Silva, who has uh, promised to curb forests, to curb forests less. Wait, so this, does this mean that Bolsonaro was fixing the Amazon? Because Lula just got into office. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Bolsonaro for the win. Bolsonaro for the win. No, no, I'm, I'm not sure what the politics are, but hey, it's a good stat. You love to see it. More of this, please. Um, all right, and the last piece of good news that we have today: um, Kansas City becomes safe haven for trans healthcare. Excellent. You love to see this. Trans people need a break. Need a break. Becoming, uh, you know, uh, convenient villains in the Republican circuit non-stop circus of you know uh be afraid be afraid be afraid according to kansas city's uh council the city will become a safe haven for transgender people yesterday the city council voted 11 to 1 oh one one said no how about fuck you buddy to approve an ordinance that says they won't pr prosecute any person or organization that provides seeks or receives gender affirming care um, so basically, you know, the, the laws are being passed that say, hey, if a person is trying to transition, uh, arrest them. They're not allowed to do whatever they want with their genitals. I, I get to tell them what they can do behind closed doors. The resolution was signed by Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas. Thank you, Quentin Lucas. Heather Hall, a council member, was the only one to vote against the ordinance. Fuck you, Heather. Oh, your Bible, huh? Your Bible, huh? Yeah, your Bible says you're not allowed to have uh, anal sex, but guess guess what Heather gets up to? Holy whoa! 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 I'm gonna. I want to ask Heather Hall. When's the last time she's had anal sex? She better say no. Never. She better not be eating that shellfish either. She says the council shouldn't be involved in medical decisions unless it has to do with abortion. Who wants to bet? Who wants to fucking bet? Who wants to fucking bet? Supporters say it's needed after the legislation approved a bill to ban transgender health care for minors. That bill is headed to the governor, Governor Parsons' desk. And look, to the people that say, oh, uh, well, you know, minors, you know, there, there shouldn't, LGBTQ shouldn't, you know, touch a minor until they're 18. Um, the medical... Uh, you know, experts, the people that we depend on to give us advice on the world of medicine have acknowledged the reality of gender dysphoria, have acknowledged the reality that gender dysphoria can exist in children. Um, and there are certain guidelines that are very fair, very stringent, that are followed when it comes to um, a... Uh, younger person a child in some cases but a teenager adolescent that is experiencing gender dysphoria dysphoria and there there are procedures for all this it's not weird pseudoscience that just some liberals are making up because they're so woke and they just can't embrace reality no there's 
real science. I'm just I'm just repeating this for all the bad actors out there. There's real science. LGBTQ people uh, are human beings that deserve inalienable rights. Uh, they're being used as a scapegoat by the fascistic right to implement an authoritarianism. This has nothing to do with children or 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 sexual rights to them. This is just a cold, cynical political tool, a cludgeon that they're using to um, you know to create to create their authoritarian change. And the victims in this are the LGBTQ people, right? Oh my God! Thank you, honey. Oh, I need it. Oh my God! Thank you, honey. How's this for some good news? My my beautiful wife just dropped off some freshly baked pizza pizza rolls and a crisp ice cold glass of lemon water. How's that for good news, huh, folks? Get yourself a wife, folks. You know, or a husband, or a they them, or a you know, or a binary, or an ace, or a whatever it is. But having having a partner is one of the most beautiful things in the world, okay? And I I can't believe, I can't believe that there are people that would want, that want to take this right away from other people, right? They want to, they want to, they want to say, no, you are not allowed to love. You are not allowed to love the person you want to love. That's what, that's what they're trying to say to these people. Thank you for that follow. And thank you, everybody. That's your good news portion. That's pretty small, but that's how good news is, huh? All right, moving on.